Alex and he says Travis. Um, department heads, teachers, non-teaching personnel, our stakeholders, Barangay Captain June Salusada of Barangay 39, Ruben James Miranda of Barangay 35, Attorney Arnel Lapari, our NOHS Alumni Association Incorporated President, NOSPI President Sir Iriso, uh, Raymond Eriso, SSG President Colleen Kate Malaga, parents and guardian, a pleasant morning, everyone. Welcome to our school monitoring evaluation and adjustment for quarter two. To start with, let us pause for a minute of silence for an opening prayer to be followed a nationalistic song, energizer and welcome remarks of Mami Jean Alcala, department head of Aral Pan department. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity. to meet together. Please help us to come together to make this institution reflect your kingdom. Breathe life into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, come give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within, wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts discussions and ideas and continue to remind us that all that we do here today all that we accomplish is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you we ask these things in your name amen
hasta la bizarres idol. Fly high butterfly, fly high butterfly, fly high butterfly, fly high butterfly. Good morning to our teachers, non-teaching, and stakeholders. Today, we will conduct the second quarter ASMIA, or School Mentoring Evaluation and Adjustment. As the focal person of this activity, I would like to welcome you all. This is an avenue where we report the status of the school's performance in terms of access, quality, and governance. The data to be presented today is the result of the collaborative effort of all the teaching and non-teaching staff. And it is just proper that you will be aware of where our school is taking its direction. To start our second quarter, Ismea, I would like to introduce our presenter. No other than our Assistant Principal for Operations and Learner Support, Sir Jesus Chavez. Okay, so once again, good morning, uh, fellow teachers and uh, school leaders. A good morning to our ever uh dedicated, dynamic, and uh, result-driven principal, Ma'am Josette Terora, to my uh, co-APs, Ma'am Mila, Ma'am Dona Posaga, and the entire Mancom family. So today, remarks our second quarter, Ismeya which we showcase our updates of our school uh, activities and other uh, key result areas the access, the quality, and the governance. So the legal basis for the ISMEA or the DEMEA, uh, Republic Act 9155, clearly defines shared governance in which we are part of our school. We have to work together together with our stakeholders that we should go hand in hand 
and review the updates of our school in order to answer our gaps, our variants, in order to proceed for our uh, goal in our school. One vision and one goal. So purpose of SMEA is, of course, monitoring and evaluation, and of course, the adjustment. In the uh, midst of pandemic, we already finished our first quarter is Maya, and we will uh, inform our teachers, you're part of it. So and we should know what is happening in our school. So that mangin part of the solutions at Spilahan. So the first part is the access. So the access uh, covers the sardo or the lardo, lawyers at rest of dropping out. And of course, the second is the quality. The number of learners with failing grade in our third quarter or third grading. And the last key result area is the governance. It focuses on the number of schools with liquidated MOE and, of course, the filling up of teacher ITEMs. First, the data shows in our uh, the SARDO or the NLPA. Dito mga focus sa third quarter natin ng data from grade seven, grade seven to grade twelve. So in our male and female zeros yung aton nga SARDO ang aton nga NLPA. So grade eight, uh, we have two females. For, for grade nine, one male and uh, six female, a total of seven. For the grade ten, a zero, total zero man. For our night class. So zero, zero, zero. For grade 11, so the male zero, so female zero, so total zero. For grade 12, still zero siya. So sa atong male total, one ang atong nga sardo, sa atong mga female, eight, a total of nine atong nga learners. For our access number of learners who remediate, nga consider atong nga sardo, Nga ton gintagaan sa remediation sa ton fourth quarter nga para nga ton ma-cope up ang ilang mga ilang mga behind sa ilang uh, outputs. So ang data na ga show sa grade 7 nga ton gin-remediate there are two males and four females sa ton grade 7 total of 6. Sa ton grade 8, one male and one female total of 2. For our grade 9, seven male and 13 female total of 20. So in grade 10, there are 20 male and 24 female, total of 44 so in the grade 10 learners. For our night class, so we have uh, zero, kaya wala man tas ang sardo, so wala tas ang mga grade 8. For grade 11, ang muman, and our grade 12. So total uh, learners sa grade 8 na ton, sa fourth quarter na ton, uh, 30 sa male and 42 sa female. A total of 72 learners. That's why ang aton nga sardo na gamay siya kay nag-remediate kita. So aton gintagan intervention programs para nga kabataan ta malabot aton kag mga kwanta sa world nga access. And of course, the number of learners with filling grade na our fourth quarter mo nga aton nga update. So so far, ang may data lang ang grade 10, may isa ka male. So total ya 1. So amon siya ang aton bata ang may failing grade sa fourth quarter. So amon nga aton data nga nagapakita sa aton nga sa school natin. In terms of aton access na key result area. So we will be discussing ano ba lang mga issues or concern nga natabo ni siya, ano aton ginhimo, ano ang uh, presenting factors, ang hindering factors nga uh, action to be taken nga ginhimo natin. Sa aton nga issues and concern uh, first, you know, highlight the rain. The parental support was lacking, uh, lenient in monitoring of learners. So, may ara kita sa atong mga ginikanan, dito na yan, beyond our control. So, pati sa nga itong ginhimo, may ara kita nga mga ginikanan nga ang ilang uh, kabataan, wala nila ginamonitor ma maayo, uh, lacking ang ilang uh, support. Kadua, ang mental health sa atong learners. So, mga rakit ng mga kabataan, of course, ang ilang mental health, they are undergoing mga depression. So, hindi talaga sila mababata kahit ilang na problema. So, muna sa mga rason ng itong nagina, tagaan intervention. 
At saka yung atong guidelines office, nagpangayin mo sa programa, may hindi siya ma-address ma sa problema. Learners lack of interest in answering summative test and accomplishment, accomplishing performance test and outputs. So, hindi din sa ato niya ning bago. So, of course, ato nga distance learning, in terms of ato nga printed, may lagi mga mga kabataan ng atong learners na lack of interest gets sa ilang module in answering summative test and accomplishing their performance task or outputs. Ginhatag mo na, ginhatag mo balik mo, wala gaya po answer. And the fourth one, transfer of change of learners residence. So, is yung sumunod sa lahat na ginatubang ng mga kabataan kita nga ang ilang mga parents na sa ilang isang uh, residence o so factors man sa nga itong gina, ginatubang. And of course, hindering factors, the class advisors were not informed on learners' change of residence. So, kung kisa, because of the uh, difficulties sa ito nga uh, delivery of learning, sa ito nga platform, ang uh, ito nga distance learning, kung kisa, hindi mapapalong ito nga advisor nga siya kailangan transfer na residence. So, kung kisa, hindi siya sa iya module, so hindi sila itong reach out. So, ang mga uh, parents na wala man sa access sa ilang uh, mga uh, internet, so isa na sa lahat ng factors na ginatubang. That's reality. The second one, no means of communication. And of course, learners and parents were out of reach. So, ina siya nga isyo, hindi lang sa aton, sa ibang nga school, aram man na siya. And the third one, parents have comor comorbidities and other health-related risks. So, of course, kung isa nga ito, mga ginikanan, hindi nila kayo palapit sa eskwilahan, hindi siya kakuas ang module, hindi siya ka-remediate, kano siya sabit sa ngayang output kahit may mga kumulbit ang itong mga parents at mga health issues sila. Anong ginigin mo sa eskwilahan? Nga para hindi siya nga mga issues, mga factors at kung siya matagaan sa uh, ma-address ang mga uh, kanyang problema. Intensify implementation of NN NNPTC. And the second one, provision of IECs. Information, education, campaign ng IEC. And of course, counseling. Ako nga itong uh, psychological first aid ng itong PFA. Ano nga itong ginahin mo ng intervention para ng mga problema sa itong mga learners, sa itong mga ginikanan, uh, labilagid sa mental health issues, ma-address na itong pagkata sa solusyon. The third one, extended compliance period. So, kitang tagaan, tas ang two weeks, ako ang kitang itong academic is, nagadako ang ato ng heart ng ato ng learners yung tagaanta sa compliance period. Parang ilang mga backlog, ang ilang mga gaps ma-address na ito. The fourth one, other make-up activities, remediation for lacking outputs. May mga make-up ato ng gamit ato ng mga teachers parang ining ilang mga backlog sa ilang mga outputs, ilang mga mahimo. And the fifth one, we seek intervention to reach our learners and parents. Through what? Through coordinating with our barangay LGUs. So ang ato mga teachers, ang ato mga department heads, nagingo sa mga programa nga malapot ato lang ato mga learners by coordinating with our barangay LGUs. So para nga may courtesy, may protocol kita ginahingo. So kung sa ato mga teachers, hindi mas lamang risko bala ng ang ato nga barangay arak na kabulig sa ato. Para nga ilang safety ang LGUs, madipinsahan man ato. So muna sa ngatong ginhimo, parang hindi nga mga problema sa access, sardo ang ngatong nga learners, ma-resolve na ito, nagamay na ito ng ngatong sardo. Malagot ang ngatong nga, gitawag ka siya nga planning standard sa ngatong DepEd, na zero dropout. And for our junior high school, comparative uh, data sa ngatong sardo, or sa buong lardo na nisa, learners at risk of dropping out, Aga nga ito nga NLPA, no longer participating in activities sa ito ni Swilahan, ang ito mga learners. Three years ni siya, gin-compare niya ito. So, kalamit sa ngayon data, buti ngayon increasing. So, buti ngayon we are in line with our DepEd, the planning standard. Decreasing siya ka panaog ni siya. Kahit kung na mga sardo, kailan drop out, kailan pa panaog ka na sa. So, meaning positive na sa. So sa uh, last uh, 2019, 2020 school year, ang atong grade 7, 12 pa ang atong sardo. So sa atong nga uh, 2021, nag-5 na lang. Then sa sininga tuig, nag-0 na sa. Meaning na meet mo ginang imo nga planning standard na zero dropout. So very good ang grade 7. For the grade 8, so sa 2019, 31 pa ka learners. 
sa uh, last year ng school year 13 sa so subong 2 na lang so still decreasing ang aton nga 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 trending so very good din sa sign nga nga tong intervention effective gid grade 9 uh, last 2019 ng school year 19 ang aton sardo ang aton nga 2021 2020 nga uh, school year 14 na decrease subong 7 na lang and in grade 10 uh, 18 Pagka 2020, 9 na lang. Pag subong school year, 0 na sa. So, meaning nila po, ito lang itong planning standard. Ang itong mga MOB, ang itong nga, ang itong naging himo, ang itong nga NNPTC. So, very effective git. Ang itong ginikanan, gina-inform ka sa mga ilang mga kabataan, ano lang ilang mga backlog, ano lang ilang mga gaps, ano ilang mga variants na wala nila masubmit. So, ay, uh, ang nanay, ang nila bata, ma-intervene da yun, ma-solve da yun. Ang ato na SF9, ang ato na school card, ang ato na SF10, ang ato na data, SC5, SF5, ang ato mga attachment pagin. So, ang total sa ang school year na drop out is 80, ang 2019, 2020 is 41, ang subong ato ay 9 na lang. So, very positive ang ato na data na nagpapakita na ang ato na programa for drop out is already in line with our planning standard for our DepEd. Ano wala ang mga factors na facilitate nga nahimo pa na siya? Ang nga itong pag-reduce ang itong sardo na ginatawa pa. Kung ito nga mga NLPA ng mga learners. We conducted remediation and enhancement classes. The second one, we intensify implementation of NNPTC. So, but siya hindi lang hindi nga tungkol lang compliance, kundi intensify tagid sa ginlab o tagid ang itong mga ginikanan, ang itong mga guardian, Para nga itong kabataan na may mga backlog, may mga delayed sila sa ilang mga submission, ma-address na kita yun nga mahambalan na kita siya. Naka-timely kita siya. Kay per quarter ang itong nga, nga NNPTC. Strengthen partnership with stakeholders in reaching out learners and their parents. So manami yun siya na itong nahilimuon. Kaya yun siya nga programa uh, still in line with our DepEd uh, programs. We intensify partnership and stakeholders. So ang atong gidi mo we link with our stakeholders so kanami gid we reach out our learners through our stakeholders kay ang balaton shared governance ang atong sumong gidi mo shared responsibility ha huh? and the fourth one contextualized and simplified SLM so ang atong mga SLM aton sa gin gin base sa aton nga setup sa atong eskwelahan og gin contextualize naton ka gin gin pa simple naton as long as ang aton nga melt uh, hindi masacrifice ang aton ng mga most essential learning competency. Malapot kid na aton. Ang aton learners yung kagwa sa eskwilahan na ara ang culture of excellence sa ilang academic kag with values in them. And the last one, closely monitored with the conduct of LTE. So kanami, gigit kayo ng aton mga teachers, ng aton ng mga uh, department heads, nag-monitor kid sa aton ng mga conduct of LTE. Nagkasulod sila sa itong LTE through platform, Google Meet, ang itong nga mga messenger, itong mga chat. So kanami gig na monitor ng itong gabataan in terms of distance learning, ginayimuan ta sa intervention. Uh, the following are the issues and concern uh, in terms of comparative of Sardo sa itong nga access ng KRA. Mungunto ka ginagin ng balaton, di transfer residence, ang iba nga itong nga kabataan, uh, desert, they seek for their employment, for their economic reason. So, ang ibang kaiti, siyempre yung lakalan on. So, ang isa, ang ina nga module, agabi na ginaubra kasi aga, sa aga, aga, gaubra sila. Uh, for their economic reason. And of course, ang ato mental health, aragin na siya. We are on the uh, pandemic, in the midst of pandemic, the health crisis. So, mga ibang tanga learners, may mga mental health problem. Kulang ang ilang social aspect sa ilang mga kabataan. And of course, alak lang family problems. So, hindi talang madula tungkol sa nga nga economic reason. Sabi na kitsubong kinasaka pag ito nga ito nga gasolina. So, may domino effect nga sa ito nga economic reason o nga ito family problems. And handling factors sa sining nga mga issues sa nga ito nga comparative of Sardo. Uh, learners residence without prior notice. So, wala binabalo nga ito mga advisor. So, kung isa nyo sila makontak ang itong mga learners, that's why nyo sila ma-address ang ilang problema. Kaya huwag sila kapabalo. 
And second one, ang ating mga parents na dula, dulaan ng bura, unemployment, and of course, iba ng masakit man, o may health issues. Uh, living in isolation, iba na may quarantine, so of course, madali ang ilang pag-ano sa ilang mga compliance, so isang mga factor man. Indulgence on online games, so iba ang ating mga learners, nag-engage man sa online games, of course, itong good sa sistema, subong, nga, of course, arat na ang ating nga platform nga online. And the last one, dysfunctional or complete family. So, very core tagi niya nga problema nga once ang family na gali ang aton nga reason, kabudlay ang aton bata affected din na. No? Kaya ang ilang parents, ang ilang ano, lagahang panay, so wala sang support. So, uh, family problem, bug at kaning issues din. So, that's why uh, uh, ara ang aton nga mga guidance, guidance program nga naga-intervene para ang ilang problema aton siya ma ma address so kanami gid for all possibility all communication like the use of social media radio to locate our learners so ginagamit ta kita ang tantan ta kanahimo reach out ug kabataan ta tukod ang aton access para sa bata gid Still on uh, access, ang uh, aton ng mga senior high school, ang uh, aton ng sardo naman, gi aton ni update. Uh, there are two semesters, sa first semester, may one male, may two, one male man sa grade 11, total of two. For our grade, grade 12, first semester, there are three males and zero for female, total of three. So sa second semester, zero, zero na siya. So ang problema sa first semester, gi address ang aton teacher sa senior high school, na dula sa ang aton ng mga sardo. So very good kid na namit ang aton nga planning standards ang aton DepEd na zero drop out. Total of males aton nga grade uh, senior high school ag one female total of five ang aton sarto. For the senior high school facilitating factors teachers were more considerate. So ang aton nga mga senior high school teacher are very kind and considerate ang learners ta reach out ta kid. And um, issues and concern, uh, the same uh, with the junior high school, mental health, lack of support from responsible adults, and prefer for work than to study. So of course, ang grade 11 to grade 12, matured na. So of course, iba nga mga gilikanan, ginatagaan nila sa uh, ulubraw ng ilakabataan uh, to earn for money. So ang nila nga pagtuon sa mabayaan nila. So issues sa mga tubang. Hindering factors. Class advisors not informed. Mamangya po niya gina nga ang ating mga teacher wala ma-inform ng kabataan nagsaylo sa ilang residence. The second one, no means of communication. So may mga parents na wala bilya access, wala bilya spend pang load. So would like reach out ang ating mga, mga learners. And other factors are beyond our control. Ito ba mga hindering factors? Anong ginihin mo sa iskulahan sa katong senior high school teachers? Intensifying implementation of NNPTC. Seek intervention from LGU in reaching out our students and parents. So, of course, we always stop our local government unit, our barangay uh, council. Extend compliance period. So, ginihin pala pagid. So, kung sa nga itong academic is, so, ginihin pala wait na pagid na nga itong compliance period. And we conduct make up activities o kung nga itong nga remediation for locking out. So, kanamig isang itong nga senior high school department. And uh, still on access. Puno na ako sa'yo. Uh, comparative niya po sa three years uh, back ng mga data. Uh, senior high school naman eh 2019 last school year 2020 may one kita sa grade sa first semester five to sa second semester uh, total sa male na ton sa ton nga uh, school year 2020 din nagtaas gamay ang aton nga grade 11 6 kabilo ka nga aton nga sardo sa second semester nag 2 sa ining nga school year so kanami gid one nga aton nga nga sardo kag sa second semester zero gid so, so uh, nag-decrease kita ng aton sardo. Uh, based aton na ilay is makita kina sa aton SF4. Sa aton grade 12, 
Sa second SEM, uh, sa first SEM, zero. Sa second SEM, apat. For sa aton nga learners, total of 10. For the school year 2020-2021, may one kita sa grade 11, may uh, grade 12, may one man sa second semester. Total of three, total of four in general. So sa aton nga first semester, increasing pa. Pag second SEM, na decreasing na sa. So at least ang aton nga intervention sa dropout, uh, ara again in line with sa aton nga the planning standard na zero dropout. Still on the access, comparative uh, data sa Sardo on Lardo na ton, ang aton nga NLPA, uh, facilitating factors, teachers were, na, were more considerate. Uh, it's some concern. Uh, likewise, mga gina, mental health, lack of support from responsible adults, prepare works rather than stay. Dalabalik to out, then to study. High the refactors, class advisors were not informed of the students' chains of residence. No means of communication, learners' parents were out of reach. Or wala pang lauda. Other factors are beyond the control of the schools as economic and health reason. Ano nga itong ginimo? Actions to be taken. Ginimo na itong. Tapos na niya kay second quarter. Attend the issue of NPTC. Seek intervention from LGU or a birthday council or city government. Extend our compliance period and conduct make-up activities or remediation for lacking outputs. And for the quality, Ari diri sa akong tupad ang akong mga akong mga upod man ang akong school leaders i mention ta nga ton nga nagabulig diri sa aton naghimo sang sini nga presentation ng aton nga L uh, head sa aton nga Arpan Ma'am Regine ari diri Ma'am Lisa ari kaupod mo si Ma'am uh, Alcala so quality Ma'am Celsa rather Ma'am Celsa Ma'am Cels Ma'am Alice uh, take it away for the quality M governance budi kana man ng selsa kay ari din ang atong mga IGP sa atong nya content sa atong nga pigiri sa atong mga swine i discuss na ni so hatag ko sa kay ma'am sa Lisa and floor kay manami gid nga alone we can do spirit but together we can do so much so ari nga atong mga fellow school leaders nga mga enrich pagit sa atong nga ismeya nga mas showcase ta kon di ila ta subot sa atong ispilahan ma'am Les take it away Okay, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Sir Jess, for that uh, very well informed uh, report for today in terms of access. And now for quality. May I report to you, colleagues, if you can see on the screen the number of learners with failing grade for third grading from grade 7 to grade 10 are all zero. That is because for our remarks here, uh, we conducted remediation and extended compliance uh, period. And the result is uh, very good, zero. So there are no more students who got failed for the third grading. And for continuation in terms of facilitating factors, it is all because class advisors and subject teacher were in constant communications as to the performance of their learners. The LTE was conducted for students to easily reach and communicate with their subject teachers. And NPTC were utilized to inform students and parents of their outputs. And the face-to-face -face meeting of students together with parents were conducted observing health protocols. Okay, all of these uh, facilitating factors are of course uh, very familiar to each uh, class advisors. Since uh, every one of you are doing this, 
And congratulations, all I can say to all our class advisors with uh, department heads, of course, for having this result a zero all in terms of uh, failing grades. Of course, there are no issues and concerns and hindering factors, actions to be taken because what are we going to do? We have already reached a zero failing grades for our students. All I can say is congratulations. Probably we can do this, continue this uh, next school year, or we still have the third quarter results. Okay, next. For senior high school, during the third grading results, we have for, for grade 11 and grade 12, the result is also zero because we have done the same action. Uh, all uh, teachers conducted remediation and extended the compliance period. So congratulations also to all senior high school teachers. Thank you very much for this uh, zero feeling group. result. And what are the facilitating factors why we are able to have a zero result? Because class advisors and subject teachers were in constant communications as to the academic performance of their students. The LTE was conducted for students to easily reach and communicate with their subject teachers and uh, NPTC were utilized to inform students and parents of their outputs. And of course, face-to-face -face meeting of students together with parents were conducted observing health protocols. All of this are done of, by the teachers. So all I can say is just simply congratulations. Kabay pa, makontinyo tani. We will have a zero failing grade up to the next school year. And of course, since these are our facilitating factors, ma continue tagi ni Obrano, dear class advisors, nga may constant communication, especially sa academic performance ng inyong mga students sa aton mga parents. And ang LTE get very important, especially during, as mentioned a while ago by Sir Jess, especially during uh, the LTE, mas tahum pagit kag nami ang result when our department heads are in constant uh, visitation with the LTE conducted by all advisors, or not the advisors, but the class advisors. Of course, ang ato new normal PTC, importante gid kay gin utilize uh, correctly in informing students and uh, parents about sa mga sa outputs nila. And so, ang mga outputs were able to complete sa mga kinanglanon nila para mahatagan sila sa grades which are not failing. Although, of course, kung kita lang teacher basihan is mas daw ka nami i-fail. Pero because nga nag-extend pagid kita sa compliance period, and ang isa to ka-factor ka ina sa senior high school is the teachers were more Ano gani? What's the term gani? Ma'am, ano? Considerate. And all teachers are, of course, considerate. So that is why na reach natin ini ang zero failing grades. Of course, no more issues and concerns, no more hindering factors, and no more actions to be taken because all actions, naging pang obra natin, are all uh, very good in attaining these uh, zero failing grades. So all I can say is, again, congratulations to all teachers and all department heads with the leadership, of course, of our uh, beloved principal and the three assistant principals. And now may I turn you over to Ma'am Selsa to report uh, regarding governance. Okay, good morning everyone. As we continue, the last uh, leading indicators is on governance. Here is the report of our school for the second quarter. Okay. 
Okay, for junior high school, under the governance, the first column we have there the cash, in cash, the amount to be utilized, then the actual amount of utilization, and of course, the percentage. As of this time, our liquidation for the MOOE as of April and May, amounting to 1,333,31,000 was actually utilized and that is 100%. We do not have the PTE fund, alumni fund, and barangay fund. What we have is the LSB, the local school board, amounting to 833,333. And again, it was 100% utilization. The total amount is 2,164,333. At the same time, that is also the total amount utilized by school for the month of April and May, 100%. For senior high school, we have liquidation of MOOE, April and May, 598,807. Still, we utilize it 100%. Of course, no other fund except for MOOE for senior high school. Our facilitating factors we observe the timely procurement process. No issues and concerns, no hindering factors. Of course, no actions to be taken since it is 100% utilization. Still on the governance, we have here some donations. We are so thankful with the generosity of our stakeholders. The Faith Farms Pork Shop donated to the Animal Production Program of three times, amounting to more or less one swine is 30,000 each, so amounting to 90,000 from Faith Farm Pork Shop. Then Land Bank of the Philippines donated the following, one monitor of 15 SGVA, two HP comp compact monitor and CPU, one color monitor, one IBM Think Center P4 CPU, one CPU HD compact DC7900 CMD, HP L170, 1.7 inch LCD monitor, one IBM Think Center monitor CPU with CDRW, one Lenovo Thinker monitor or CPU, one Lenovo Thinker 18.5 LCD monitor tower CPU. At the moment, I think these donations are still in our supply office. Because we were the one who received this last May. Then, still part of governance. We have here the filling up of teacher items. Number of teachers filled in for junior high school. There are 235 out of 246 items. So, of course, later on you will know why is it that it is not yet fully filled in. Then for senior high school, we have 65 out of 68 items. Okay, these are the issues and concern. Items not opened by the division office. That's why wala ato na kompleto ang ato nga mga filled in nga mga item for teachers. Then promotion cannot be processed due to election banning period. Hindering factors, untimely posting of unfilled items, and of course, election banning period. Actions to be taken. 
conduct orientation and promotion and reclassification of teaching position. Selection process to take effect after the election banning period. Then another part of governance. We would like to report to all of us, to the Negros Occidental High School community, the liquidation report of the poultry and swine project under the tele department through the effort of our agriculture teachers led by Mr. Miguel Angelo Magbanwa. The liquidation is as of March, April, and May 2022. We have there the income for the poultry project for March is 10,794 pesos. For April, we have 5,820 pesos. For May, we have 4,245 pesos. For swine project, we have 13,000, a total of 33,859 pesos for the income. For the expenses of our poultry layers project, for March, we have 18,720. For April, we have 7,813. For May, we have 6,925 a total of 33,453. For Kabir, we have March 5,140, April 2,229, and for May 1,865, a total of 9,234. For Swine Project, for March, we have 1,449, for April, 1,350. For May, we have 6, 000, uh, 670. A total of 46,161. Here are the donations of the animal production. Daily department or the animal production projects donated. 7,000 during the daily department year in the outing or team building activity and purchase 50 bags of cement for piggery facilities, that is 12,100 pesos. Purchase of 300 pieces concrete hollow blocks for piggery facilities, that is 6,000. Supplement expenses for labor of the demolition of the billboard structure amounting to 4,000. Then during the NOHS, Summer Sports Fest, the animal production projects donated thousand, and then a lot of to one thousand five hundred. So the total amount of donation of the animal production is thirty two thousand six hundred. For our school canteen, as of May twenty twenty two. Total sales is 413,118. Expenses is 338,916 and 45 centavos. Income is 74,201 and 55 centavos. Less the salary of the canteen staff amounting to 51,860. Donations is 16,221. Medical expenses of the staff, the canteen staff is nine hundred fifty pesos. The profit as of May twenty twenty two of our school canteen is five thousand one hundred seventy. Okay, that's all for governance. But before that, I will turn over again, sir. Just for the last word before we end our SNEA. Thank you. And Ma'am Chelsea, uh, mga Girl Scout team always ready, no? uh, answered for the call. So we are happy and we are glad to present our second quarter SNEA through virtual platform. We in we already uh, be transparent to all teachers, to all department heads of the three K result area. We access the quality in the governance. 
motomal ko kagina nga shared governance ang skilahan ta magapadayon ang aton nga mga gaps mga variants i-address naton para next school year ang aton nga skilahan malapit pang aton nga planning stand sa aton depend so in behalf with the Mancom family uh, community with our principal ma'am Jet Ferrora our through co-APs, Mamila and Ma'am Dona, na subong ato sa may Morsia for important concern for our uh, AIP and APP. So yours truly, saliwat, salamat. Tatak Provincial, mabuhay in UHS. God bless everyone. Salamat yung mga Madam C and Mama Regine for the slides in charge for this uh, second quarter. Sa aton stakeholders, salamat man. Balagay uh, Captain sa our alumni president and our GPT president. Salamat kid. Uh, amira, camera on for our attendance, all departments. Mapi, Ara, Tele, Science, Filipino, SPA, Math, English. Ay, ara sila. Very good kid. Oh yeah, they give them some wonder woman, or Sir Greg. Okay, so please turn on our camera. Okay, so first frame to Anna, yeah, ready lang ang tanan. Okay, sige ah. Uh, English department. Uh, please turn on your camera. Uh, MOV lang ah. Uh, for us nga, mabalaan nga nakatan dito. Ay, Ma'am Josette. Uh, sige, sige, sige. Okay, sige. Second frame lang sa. Okay, sige. Ready? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, then I lang. Okay, next frame. Sige lang ha. Ready lang tagi ako na. Okay, ready. One, two, three. Sige. Madamo, ganyan. Salamat. Thank you.